Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We come together for our evening prayer. We come together to bring our petitions to the Lord. This afternoon we've had a team meeting, as we do every Tuesday afternoon, and it struck me as I was reflecting on it afterwards, it took rather longer than we planned. Uh, We often get chatting about all sorts of things, Um, but uh, the amount uh, that is happening in the parish for which we should give thanks to God. I found myself giving thanks to God uh, for Father Roy and for Father Thomas, who bring great wisdom and a great energy uh, to uh, our reflections. Think about the RCA group who are meeting this evening uh, with the various people who've who've joined the group for this year. We think uh, of the wedding that happened on Saturday, the baptism on Sunday afternoon, the confirmation Sunday evening, uh, the various things that are being prepared for at the moment, the CYF team who've spent today and will spend tomorrow getting ready for the first confessions next week, for the families who are encouraging those children towards their first confession and then their first communion, and, and it goes on. An enormous amount for which we should uh, be grateful. And therefore, this evening, as part of our prayers, we offer that gratitude. And of course, it gives us a confidence. If God has been good to us in so many ways, then we know we can rely on his goodness, on his presence, and therefore we will bring him our needs and our petitions for those who are sick, for those we commend to the Lord, for each other, that together we may grow strong in faith and we begin with that inspiration which is Our Lady and the way in which she was able to immediately say yes to the Lord. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O strength and stay, upholding all creation, whoever does thyself unmoved abide. Yet day by day the light in due gradation from hour to hour in all its changes guide. Grant to life's day a calm, unclouded ending, an eve untouched by shadows of decay, the brightness of a holy death blending with dawning glories of the eternal day. Hear us, O Father, gracious and forgiving, through Jesus Christ, thy co-eternal word, who with the Holy Ghost by all things living, now, and to endless ages art adored. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. May the Lord answer in time of trial 
May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favor. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your plans. May we ring out your joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day we call. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. We shall sing and praise your power. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the King. See how your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessings to him forever, You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High, he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We shall sing and praise your power. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, And by your blood you ransomed men for God, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. From the first letter of St. John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children. And that is what we are. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him because we shall see him as he really is. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your truth will last from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. 
Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. Through Christ we are sons of God. In him we see what shall be when we come to the Father. With confidence we pray. Guide leaders and governments. Give them wisdom and integrity. You are the Lord and source of our freedom. Bring those in captivity of mind or body to the freedom of the children of God. Give courage and strength to the young. Help them to choose their work and make the right decisions for their way of life. Give patient tolerance to all who are no longer young. Open the hearts of the young to accept from them understanding and love. Receive the departed into your eternal kingdom. Sustain our hope to reign with you forever. Let us pray. We give thanks for the RCA group who will meet this evening and for the new members who've joined them this year. As parents this year complete the applications for new schools, we give thanks to our schools for the great ministry that they have for our young people. We give thanks and pray for all the young people who give us a wonderful example this weekend as they begin celebrating the Sacrament of Reconciliation. We pray for their families and godparents that they may, in the prayer of the baptismal rite, be examples of faith to inspire these children. We pray too in thanksgiving for the children, youth and family team preparing for these celebrations and for the work that they do. Pray in thanksgiving for those who were baptised, confirmed and received into the church last weekend. We pray for those who are in need or facing difficulty. We pray for all those facing lockdown and the challenges and sufferings that the restrictions bring. For all those facing natural disasters around the world. And for the staff and prisoners at HMP Coldingley and HMP Send. Let Melly and the family ask prayers for her father, Gordon Cameron, who is sick. Anna asks prayers for Yvonne, undergoing medical investigations. John asks that we might pray for a genie who's tested positive for COVID-19, that the Lord will continue to watch over and protect him as he has done so clearly over these years. Margaret asks that we might pray for Jerry, and for his wife, Margaret, concerned for his health. We pray for Tim Green, who is seriously ill. 
Pat Taylor, Taylor, sorry, who has jaundice and battling cancer, and for George, her husband. Jan Morris's daughter, Julia, diagnosed with cancer. Indeed, we pray for Jan and all the family and friends who are concerned. We pray for the recovery of Maria's father, who has COVID-19. And we continue to pray for Maureen, for Caroline, for Sean, for Kathy, for Nick, for Aaron, for Ian, for Maureen, for Ron and their son Dominic, who is looking after them, for Cameron, Carlos, for Julia, and for Claire. We pray for Anne, whose anniversary is this week. We pray for Greg Melly's sister, Tony. And we continue to pray for Pat Larkin, for Joe Gonzalez, for Serena, for Pia, for Jeffrey, for Duncan, for Olive, for Gordon, for Teresa, and for Valerie Howard whose family prepare for her funeral this coming Thursday. And we commend to the, the Lord all the souls of the faithful departed, commending them to the mercy of God that they may rest in peace. And we pray for all those who mourn and for all those to whom we have promised our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, for bringing us safely to the evening of this day. We humbly ask that the prayer we make with uplifted hands may be an offering pleasing in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we come to pray a decade of the rosary. I can be very slow sometimes. I've been leading evening prayer uh, uh, various days since, what was it, March we began. And, and suddenly realized uh, last night that, of course, the traditional way of praying the rosary together as a community is that the leader prays the first half of each prayer and then the rest of the community join in the second. I suddenly wondered why I hadn't been doing that, uh, even though you're, you're, you're out of uh, 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 sight and sound. There'll be confidence um, that it is a prayer that we're sharing together. And on this Tuesday, uh, we had the Sorrowful Mysteries in this fourth week, and we reflect on the extraordinary pain and commitment that it took from the Lord to carry that cross. And bearing the cross for himself, he went forth to the place called the Skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te Carmanus, Exules Filii Eve, A Te Suspiramus, Gementes et flentes, in hac laquimarum vale. Ea rego, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes loculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fruntum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 